Uh, thank you everyone for joining. Um, we will start off now. Um, welcome to our next installment of webinars. it will be our fifth one now. And today we're going to look at uh, our Star Max channel manager and how does it benefit you. <coughs> Now, I've just got a couple of slides to go through at the beginning, just to sort of um, give you guys an introduction of who we are. Um, some of you might already be using us um, in some form um, of channel manager or any of other products. Um, and, but I'll give you all a little bit of background about Star um, and um, then we'll get straight into obviously Star Max. Okay, so just some housekeeping rules. Um, obviously, if you have any questions or anything you want to ask, um, there'll be time for that at the end. Um, you can leave comments um, in the chat box along the way. Now, we have muted everybody. Um, and uh, if you want to reach out to me uh, at the end of this webinar or in the next couple of days, I will look forward to hearing from you. Okay. Now, just a bit of uh, background. Um, Star is now in over 80 countries around the world and we um, provide services to just over 8,000 properties now. So, as you can see, basically everywhere there's a bit of orange. Um, that's um, a another country that we have um, some lovely customers with us. Um, just a bit of a background into the Star ecosystem or like we say, the guest journey, so to speak. Uh, you can see where your hotel is and um, well, obviously some of our products, which is our channel manager, our booking engine, our instant websites, we've got our gift voucher engine. Uh, we obviously pair off into the GDS as well, so that's really a good product for uh, some of our other uh, larger clients who are looking at that, um, picking up that corporate business. Uh, do check out our webinar that we have recently done on GDS as well. Um, there'll be a, a page um, with those links on there. Now, Paul, you've just asked if it will be available um, after. Yes, we will be sending out a copy of the video uh, to all the participants from today and all of those that have registered um, but haven't been able to make it. Okay. <coughs> some of our, just to introduce some of our partner hotels. So we do work with um, Bella Vista in New Zealand with Heritage, um, CPG, uh, Swiss Vowel also up in Papua New Guinea with Coral Sea Hotels, um, who have now been with us for just over a year. A little bit about myself, um, I started myself in the hotel industry, um, started right in F&B, went all the way through to front office, revenue, um, bit of sales, bit of marketing. Um, obviously I've been at Star nearly two years, I've done onboarding at Star of over 100 properties and have recently moved into a sales role. Um, um, looking mainly after the New Zealand market and the Pacific Islands. Now, do not forget to visit our YouTube channel. Um, this is where you'll find a tab um, with all our other webinars that we've done. Uh, um, our first one, which was about generating more bookings. Uh, we did do one with Airbnb just recently as well. So that's a really, really good one to, to have a look at. Now, Let's get started into um, what we're discussing today. Um, so obviously at the moment, um, you're probably all using a channel manager, okay? So your channel manager manages your rates, your restrictions for your channels, processes your bookings from various platforms and delivers them to your PMS, okay? But what if you could uh, set rates dynamically by season, okay? Uh, you could drip feed your inventory to sort of um, hold back rooms from your channels or your own website. Uh, set up various packages um, to target particular markets. Uh, set promo codes based on validity. Uh, have a customized booking engine to match your brand. Set stop sell limits by date. So that's what we're going to go through and we're going to have a look at those options. Dynamic rates. Um, what do dynamic rates do? It increases your reef part, it drives your yield. Um, it can be set by room type or inventory. Okay, we'll have a look at that a little bit shortly. Drip feed. Uh, drip feed can be used to limit inventory available to channels. Okay, increases urgency to book. Okay, so if you um, put in, say, drip feed of two, then it will um, only show two available. In actual fact, you might have more rooms. 
stop cell limits. Now you have the ability to stop cell, um, set stop cell limits by date range, um, set stop cell limits for channels as well as your own booking engine. Promo codes, what if you can set the validity by stay and booking dates, okay? You can set limit on usage. Packages, set multiple packages using dynamic or static rates. We'll go into how you can be able to do that. Uh, set validities on packages, set multiple policies and terms and conditions. Okay, so we'll have a look at how that can work for you. Now, the other thing that we have also in Star Maps is we have what's called center reservations. Now, it, it enables you, if you have multiple properties, to make bookings at another property within the group. Um, you can have bookings delivered straight to your PMS, and it's ideal for chat service bots. Your booking engine. I have a custom, much more customized booking engine which matches your brand. Um, you have the ability to guests, for guests to manage their own bookings so they can cancel, they can amend. Um, or if you have a small group, you can also pick up itinerary bookings. <clears throat> Let's see Star Max in action. So I'm just going to bring up uh, another screen for everybody um, and we're going to have a look at how, what Star Max looks like and how it actually works and looking at those specific features I've just mentioned. Okay, so welcome to Star Max. So at first glance, we can see um, just your ordinary channel manager, okay? So you have your availability and you have your rates, okay? Now let's look at some of the features that we looked at um, when I started off, okay? So first of all, uh, we have an ability to do drip feed. Now how does that work? Very simple. So even if you have availability coming from your PMS, you as the property have the ability to drip feed your availability of your rooms. So if I was to set this as one, I would only make one room available at a time. Okay, so that means if this one room is booked, then the other next room would become available. It works really well if you have multiple um, availability of each room type, like this one down here where I've got 12. If I set this at two, that's an update. I will now be able to have only two available, okay? And I'll only have one available. Once that sells, my next room will become available. This means I can hold back rooms from my channels, but I can also hold rooms back from my own website. It's a really good way to also increase urgency for people to book because they would go to your website, they would go to the OTAs, and they would see that you only have two rooms available still to book, where in actual fact, you might have 10 or eight to book. Okay. Now this is a really good tool also if um, you are filling up fast and you're wanting to limit um, how many rooms can be booked at, at any one time. So that means if a booker wants to book, say, three rooms, they won't be able to book three rooms because you're only showing two available. Okay. The next one that we have is our stop cell limit which we do have in Star Instant. However, in Star Max, you're able to manage this on a daily basis. So you're able to manage it if you want to do it on this day or on this day or on any given day. Now you can also control this via bulk update. <coughs> Sorry. That means if you want to, in your high season, you want to set a stop cell limit of one for all your room types, you can only set, you can have the ability to set it, let's say from 1st of December, all the way to the 30th of March, as an example. So you can decide when you want it on, when you want it off, giving you a lot more flexibility and um, potentially preventing uh, double bookings or bookings that come in at exactly the same time in your high season. Looking at um, our packages, now in Star Max, we don't have what we call rate plans. We have what we call packages, which is basically like a rate plan to sell on your own website. So what do you, what does the package actually do? So basically it stipulates what you're selling, whether you're selling a room only, whether you're selling um, bed and breakfast, whether you're selling uh, dinner, bed and breakfast or a golf package, 
or, or honeymoon package. Now, pack, our packages have the ability to be really customizable and um, suit your needs. In saying that, you have the ability to set inclusions for each and individual package. You have the ability to set different terms and conditions based on the different packages that you want to set. You can also have the ability to set different cancellation policies. Okay. You have the ability to name the package anything you wish. Um, you have the ability to do advanced purchase if you like to do so. You can also set cancellation modification policies in days. You can choose a multitude of rate, um, inclusive uh, meal plans, whether it's breakfast, whether it's room only, all inclusive. You also have the ability to set whether it is prepay only, whether it's a free night, or whether even it is available for the public to see and book. Now, if you're also using a payment gateway, you can also set different payment options. So say, for example, if you were having a package that's advanced purchase, non-refundable, let's say 30 days, you could have, if you're using a payment gateway, collect payment on this particular, on this particular non-refundable package but not take payment on a flexible package, as an example. <clears throat> you also have the ability to add add-ons, okay? So anything extra that you want to add to the package and make it included in the package, you have the ability to add those items. You also have the ability to set which room types can be sold which in which, in which package. So let's say, for example, if I was setting up a family package, I might only want to include my family rooms, but not my standard rooms. So again, I'm targeting my families. Now, the best part of all is with your different packages, if you have different ones set up, you can also edit the different validities. You can either set it up to be continuous, which is by just basically clearing this, and that means this package will continue on with um, the settings that you've changed. Now the real bonus here is, is that you have the ability to add multiple validities to a package. So that means you can have a package set up and end in a, um, in a particular time. Then you can set up a new validity and as an example here, we have a two night minimum applied. We can have a different check um, policy applied as well for the cancellation. So this means you don't have to create any new packages, you have the ability to completely change the validities and um, terms and conditions regarding cancellation policies as such based on demand or based on the period of time that you wanna make it available. Now the next part that we have is we have promo codes and promo codes will shortly take us back to packages um, because in packages we also have, we can either have rates um, that are set or we can also have what we call static rates now static rates would be something if you want to have maybe a corporate rate and you want to encourage your corporate bookers to book with you direct or you have a small wholesaler and you want them to actually go through your website and book with you now we're going to have a look at some promo codes um, that i have um, set up um, just previously um, so we're just going to go down i'm just going to have a look at this one here So I've taken the liberty to set this one up. Now this is a um, promo code that I've set up for a wholesaler. Okay, so we can see obviously I'm not giving them a discount because I have set up a package for them with their fixed rates. Okay, however, if I wanted to give them a discount, I could easily put in a percentage amount or I can also put in a dollar amount. So this works very similar to promo codes that we have on Star Instant. The only big difference, the big difference here is I also have the ability to add a counter, okay? Now what that does is if I have a sale, for example, and I only want 150 people to actually book this package um, or on this promo code, I can set 150. And that means once that 150 is reached, the promo code will no longer be allowed to be used. Now, if I'm not ticking that, obviously then there's no counter applied and it can be used um, until, until I remove it or until I basically set it to end. You have the details you can put in, obviously that's if it's for a company or anything like that. However, the biggest part that is really a big difference is we have an ability to apply validity. Okay, so what that means, for example, I can add stay dates. Okay, so those are the dates that the guests will be able to book. Let's say, for example, 
I go and um, change, make it 7th of August, let's say, to 31 August. However, I'm setting a booking date from today, but I'm only setting it to the 21st of August. So what that means is I can book, I can make a booking to stay from today until the 31st of August, <clears throat> but I can only book it from today until the 21st of August. So a lot of flexibility now around promo codes um, when it comes to setting different abilities. You also have the ability to add billing details. So if you're adding a promo code for a particular company, you can add that company's billing details. And that means when the booking comes into STAR, it'll come with those um, uh, billing details already attached to it. Now, as I mentioned before, I've already set up a package um, to coincide with this promo code. So if we just go back into packages, We go to our wholesalers here. <coughs> so if we go down to room types, you will see that I have set up a rate in here. Okay. So we have the ability to set in the form. So you, normally this would be one. However, because I want to have a static rate for them, I've put in zero and I've put in the rates for each of my room types. On top of that, if we go back to the package info, you will see that public access has been unticked. So that means only the wholesaler that has this promo code will be able to see that package on my website. The other part I would have to make sure is that I have selected the promo code also for that package. Okay. So again, you can see there is lots of flexibility, um, especially if you're wanting to drive um, corporates to book with you direct um, and smaller companies as well as um, smaller wholesalers. Um, to drive them to book with you via your website. Okay. Now, the other one that you have as well is you've got extras and add-ons, which lets you do um, a lot more flexibility as well. So we can see some of the ones I've set up here previously as well. If we have a look at that. Again, you have some different options here. Um, you can set up uh, an image, you can set up um, whether it's a one-off, whether it's a recurring, um, whether it's per guest or per booking. You will also be able to on sell activities and you'll be able to put times and, and dates for those activities in when they're able to be booked. So it's a very good um, way of upselling um, products. Um, let's say for example, you've got a horse riding or a bicycle hire, anything like that can be um, put in here as an extra and can be then added to the package for a guest to book it, make a booking for it, time of booking. Now the all important part that makes Star Max so much difference is the way that you have the ability to manage your rates. So this brings us back to um, being able to drive yield, increase your rev part, and um, obviously um, save you a little bit of time as well. Now what we have is we have two ways of managing rates uh, dynamically in Star. Now it depends on which option is right for you. Now it can only be set to either or. So what we're going to do is we're going to have a look at first at um, our latest option, which is revenue control, and just take you through an example of how it works overall. So we're just going to go to revenue control. We're going to start from scratch at setup. Okay. Now I've already taken gone ahead and done um, a light setup. However, um, how it starts is I always change um, a room type that I want to use as my lead-in room type. Okay. So for this um, property, for example, the lead-in room type is a standard queen room. Now I do have the ability to set, reset my master room, okay? so you can change those if you wish. And what you do is you would go next and you would then set up your different seasons. So as you can see, I've already done a few seasons here. Okay. You can set up bulk seasonal dates as well. Okay, so you could go and put in when your low season is, when your high season is, um, and so on. Now in here we have, just one moment, we've just got someone just joining us. Now we have in here an option to set six different seasons. So we have a default, which is um, always what it brings, um, goes back to if you don't set anything else. You've got um, a bar one, which is your peak. So this would be used probably um, some of your peak dates in your high season. You've got your high, 
Um, you've got a shoulder. Now this might depend on um, the region that you're in, either in Australia or New Zealand. Um, some, some regions I know only have two seasons, some might have a shoulder season. And then we have low and then we have promotion. Now promotion will generally be used if you have an event on or, um, or some big um, festivals and things like that. So once I've set up my seasons, I would go save. Okay, so, so I've already saved that. The next part is I want to be able to set up my dynamic pricing. So again, you can see I've put some examples in here for you how that actually works. Okay. So on the left hand side, we can see I have a total available inventory of 60 rooms in my hotel. My master room type is my standard queen. Now the way this works is we are looking at treating my hotel as if I have one room type. Okay. So what I'm going to set is I'm going to set it when I have 60 rooms to 50 rooms. I'm going to set the rates I want to sell at. Okay. I then drop down to 49 to 40 and so on. So if I'm just going to add another one down here and say I want to sell 19 to 10 rooms and I want to sell this at say 699, I want to sell 549, 499, 449 and 699 for example. I would click save. Now then it will ask me to push all that update to all my OTAs. I would choose yes. I would then go next. I would now have see a formula in here and a formula in here as well. Now on the left hand side, we can see our master room, which is our standard queen. And then we can see our other room types that we have at the property. So you can see what I've already set in here. So you can see that you can put in formulas. So I'm just gonna hover over this little eye, so it just kind of explains to you how this works. Okay, so this formula here is your weekday formula, okay? Now it counts Monday to Sunday, okay? So I've decided that I want to sell my king room at $20 more than my standard queen, my one bedroom apartment at $40 more, and my two bedroom apartment at $60 more. However, on my weekends, on my Friday and Saturday. Now, these two here can be adjusted to suit your needs. Now, they can be Saturday, Sunday. They could also be Thursday and Friday. Now, what these would depend on whatever you would consider um, your individual um, peak dates of the week. Now, on my weekend, as I just explained before, I want to charge an extra $10, okay? So what will happen is my rates on the weekend won't be $20 more for my standard king, but they'll in actual fact become $30 more. Now how that looks like, we'll see in the next screen. Okay, so now we can see our revenue control panel. Okay, so now you can see that I have um, my rate here at 349, and you can see I've got 369, 389, and 409. Now what I would do is I could sync my child rates. And I would then be able to go to mode and I would then be able to turn on my dynamic. I can also choose which room types I want to run on dynamic. I could choose not to run all of them um, or choose all of them. Let's say I only want to run dynamic till the end of December for this exercise. I would click on save. Okay, and that's it. So if we then come back into our rates and availability, I will then see when I come down the bottom that I am now running all my rates dynamically and you will notice that I cannot actually over change them in here, okay? Now, if I wanted to go and change um, and override these rates, okay? You can do this. Let's say for example, tomorrow I don't wanna use dynamic. I have the ability to go to my bulk update and go, Okay, tomorrow's the 8th. And I decide that for everything that I've got, okay. I want to go and put in a different rate. Let's say I want to charge $199 for all of my rooms. Now there will be a warning prompt there, obviously, because I tried to change it to lower than what we've set. So we'll just go through that again. Let's say I want to charge $500 for everything. Okay. 
Okay. So now we can see that if we come back here, <coughs> after some time, the eighth will overwrite and become $500. So that means if any day you wish to overwrite your dynamic rates, you may choose to do so. Now this is what we call our revenue control. Now I'm just going to change a couple of settings um, on our back end and I will show you how else you can manage um, um, dynamic rates as well. So these dynamic rates were based on your total inventory at the property. We're now going to look at um, dynamic rates based on room type. So just allow me a couple of seconds um, just to make some changes so that I can show you how that works. to refresh the screen now. Okay. So we're now going to look at how we can manage dynamic rates based on the room type. Okay. So you can see obviously I'm already going to something called dynamic setup and you can see three options there. We have seasons, we have rates and we have rate mode and I'll be explaining to you how what all three of these do. So first of all we come into seasons. So very much the same thing happens here. I will go through and I'll set my seasons. So let's say, for example, I'm setting up my um, until the end of August. Now I decide that I want on Friday and Saturdays, I want to charge a little bit more and have a different season. So what I'm able to do is I'm able to choose, straight away you see that we have multiple seasons to choose from. Okay. So I can choose that as my low season and I can decide to choose my Friday and my Saturday as my low weekend, okay, I would go next and save. So now you can see that I've set up all my weekends at weekend low, which is my Friday and Saturday, and I've set up my season for all the rest of the week. Now the next part I do is I need to set up my different rates. Now we can see here, starting off with the one bedroom, I have a total of 20 rooms at my hotel of this room type. Okay. So you can see I've added some um, seasons previously, but we're going to go and just look at low and weekend low. Okay. So we're going to set now the rate that I want when I have 20 rooms to 18 rooms. Okay. Now decide that I want to sell this at $220. I would then go save. Yes. You can now see that from 17 rooms to zero rooms, I have another line now. Okay, so what I would do is I would now set that I want to sell 17 to 15 rooms at a little bit more, at $250. And again, you can see the line has come down to 14. I then decide I'm feeling really trigger happy. I'm just going to sell my last 14 to zero rooms at $320. And I'd go save. Now at this point, you'll see there'll be no extra line added at the bottom. Okay. Now what you would do is you would set this up for all your room types and all the various seasons. Okay, so if I then go to weekend low, I again have the option of even making the settings different. So I could sell 15, sorry, 20 to 15 rooms and I could decide that I want to sell them at $280. Okay. And then say 14 to zero, I decide I want to sell at 320 on the weekend. The most important part is obviously every time I've finished is I would sync. Okay. Now that I've finished doing checking my seasons and I've finished putting in the rates that I want, I would click on mode. And I would also again, very much like we do on the other version, I would choose which rooms I want to set on dynamic. Now as we've done only for the one bedroom, I'm only going to set it for the one bedroom. I'm only going to set it until, let's say until the end of this month, and I would go save. Now on here, if we come here, now it does take some time to update. However, you can now see that this looks all a little bit different. So you can see that on Saturday, I have a much darker line here. 
and I have a much brighter purple during the week. And again, it is here. Now you can see the rate is exactly the same, but this is because the availability has not changed. Once my availability changes, my rates will adjust automatically. So that means you won't miss out on your rooms being sold and um, you're not getting in time to, to update your rates. The system will automatically increase the rates based on demand and based on availability. This means if you're, even if you're a smaller property, this means less time spent on actually um, looking at your rates. Now we've had a look at um, those various options and I hope that's um, been quite uh, insightful for you in, in terms of that product. Um, now I'm just going to go back to our slideshow and um, just um, touch base on another couple of features in Star Max. Now, StarMax has another feature which um, is of interest um, for if you are managing multi-properties. Now, this can work really well if you have, um, say, rent, vacation rental homes or two apartments and they're in different locations. However, we have also sometimes um, maybe a motel and there might be a B&B that they run next door and they want to be able to um, manage everything in the one place. Now, StarMax has also got the ability to manage multiple locations all in one dashboard. Now, I'll be showing you an example shortly on how that looks on live property. Um, you can manage unlimited properties. We have some properties that, um, or customers that have 30, some have 40, some might even have 80 different locations. You have the ability to set cleaning fees, and you also have the ability to add check-in information for your guests. So I'm going to just show you how vacation rentals work um, together with Star and, and how it looks like for um, a customer of ours that's working with us. So we have Corto Apartments here in Australia and they have um, just recently joined the Star Network and how it basically works is they have multiple channels and we're able to connect multiple listings for each channel. So if we're looking at booking.com, as you can see here, they have multiple um, locations and each of these locations is a different property ID issued by booking.com. Now, as explained, StarMax has the ability to map or connect multiple connections with one channel. Secondly, the property is able to set up cleaning fees individual to each property. Now, they might be the same for each property, but you might need um, to have different cleaning fees for each property based on size. Then this is something that can be done. Okay. So we have the ability to set cleaning fees. We also have the ability to have um, properties advise their guests of room key information. And we also can have an image to go alongside it. So that means if I'm booking with um, Corto Apartments, and let's say, for example, they set this up, when I make the booking, I would then also um, get a notification or within my email, I would get information about how I access the apartment that I've booked at. Now, one of the other things that we have also introduced um, quite recently is um, with Airbnb, you'll also soon be able to do messaging via Star with your guests that booked via Airbnb. So all around, um, a very good solution if you are um, wanting to manage multiple locations. So I'm just going to go back to our slideshow and we're just going to just carry on and um, just finish off. So the other part that we have in StarMax is if you're a larger property and you want to limit um, access to some of your staff of what they can be able to see or do or basically change, then this is something that's positively done. Very similar to what you might find in your PMS um, that this can be done in Star. So I'm just going to quickly also show you how that works and, and where you can actually do that. 
So in Stumax, if we come up to, um, we have something called users. You're able to go in and you're able to set up different users. Okay. So you're able to set up um, a user for each person that works at the property. You're able to control what they can view, what they can add, what they can edit for all different um, various areas within the channel manager. Okay. So you can also limit them if they can do anything in setup, if they can do anything in reporting. Um, so all over you can control um, what each person can do. And that means um, less errors will occur um, because um, less people can have access to certain areas. Now, don't forget, we have recently also launched um, StarMax on an app. So now if you're a, um, a smaller property or if you're a property with multi-listings, um, the StarMax app will do exactly the same as, um, the same as um, what it can be done in Star. Now, I'm just going to quickly show you, um, obviously one part that I, just before we um, move on, would be our central reservations that we have. Okay, so I'm just going to show you how that works. And this can be done on the Star Max app as well. So we're just going to have a look at our test property again. Now we have something in Star Max called Stay View, or we basically call it the Central Reservations. Okay. So what I'm able to do is it allows me to um, view reservations if I've made some. So I'm actually going to make one just to show you an example. However, I'm also able to make a booking. Now this is really good if you also want to look at um, chatbots on your website. Now we do have a few customers that are already um, um, on that um, type of um, connection um, with StarMax and they have a chatbot service that comes into here and actually makes bookings um, via chat. Now, so what I'm able to do is I'm able to make a booking, I'm able to change the cancellation details, I'm even able to change the rate if I wish to do so. Okay. I can then put in my booking, okay. let's say I want to do... I also have the ability to make comments on the booking. Okay. So let's say I want to say late arrival. I can also add, um, obviously, his details. That's his contact the email um, address. Okay. We're just going to do a dummy email here, just so that it doesn't send to anyone. Now, the other part that I can add as well, I can add his address details. Now, the other good thing too is the guest details might also be different from the book of details. So you could potentially put in the book of details here and put the guest details in here. Now then you can actually put in how you want to collect the credit card. Now you do not need to collect any credit card details in here. However, what will happen is if you do wish to collect credit card details, then you can choose how, um, how long the link that the guest will get emailed will be valid for. So what will happen is once you click create booking, the guest will receive an email and they will click on a secure link to provide their credit card details. Until the credit card details have been provided, the booking will sit in star as pending. Now, once the booking is confirmed, it will then automatically drop into your PMS. Now, let's say for, um, for this exercise, I'm going to choose no card collection, no email, meaning that um, we're not going to need to collect the credit card details and we're not going to send a confirmation email. You have also got the option of no card collection. So this is if you're booking for a friend or you're booking for a regular who you know is going to um, pay at, um, at the time of arrival. So I'm then going to create my booking. And if you're a small, um, and this works really well if you're you know, managing a couple of um, vacation rentals, you will now see that I have a booking in, in my little calendar here. Okay, so it basically just shows me what, which rooms are booked and which rooms are not bookable. So it basically limits um, the availability being booked on another channel. I can also click in here and I can also manage the booking or I can cancel it. Now again, if I cancel it, again, it'll drop into your PMS as cancelled. Okay. 
<coughs> the other thing is where this works really well is if you have a multiple properties in a group and let's say for example um, you have a guest and he wishes to um, book with you um, book with you direct um, and another property you'll be able to go and change it into another property and see the availability of that property and make a booking of that property now this again is really good if you have groups now the one last thing as well um, before we leave um, the screen is to have a look at our booking engine now you'll see probably that this booking engine here has um, it's just our standard however we have got the ability with this booking engine to completely customize to your brand so we can have um, the header the footer um, added to the booking engine and um, change the different colors uh, matching to your website now the one big part difference also in our max booking engine is a guest has the ability to sign into their own booking and manage their own booking okay? Now you can also have, um, if you have your website, you could also have a button on your website, taking them straight through to this page here, so they can go and self-manage their reservation. Now the other big plus is, if you are a group um, property, and you have multiple properties on Starmax, a guest is able to book um, multi-itinerary. Okay, so what that means is they're able to go and make a booking at one location and make another booking at another location. Okay. Okay, so I hope um, this has um, shown you a little bit of insight onto Starmax. Um, now the one last thing is, don't forget, um, we do have really good tools like Watch My Rate um, that can boost your bookings um, direct. Um, obviously talk to us if, it's, if you're already with Star and you don't currently have Watch My Rate. Um, looking forward to hearing from you. Happy to discuss with you how it works and um, the benefits it can give you to drive more direct bookings. Uh, any questions? Uh, feel free to um, put those through on the chat. Uh, don't forget to visit our blog page. Um, we have um, articles there, success stories um, from customers all across the, um, the globe, um, including a really good article there on Watch My Rate. And again, obviously, if you want to reach out to me, I'm happy to hear from you. Um, send me an email or feel free to um, give me a call. Obviously, if you are in Australia, I'll, if you um, contact me directly, I'm able to um, pass you on to our Australia team, who we um, more than um, welcome to help you. Uh, I can see there is a question from um, Stephanie here. Um, is it possible um, one star account access by multiple mobile devices? Uh, yes, that's possible. Um, as explained, um, we can set up multiple users in Starmax. That means um, every user obviously has their lo own login and can therefore then access um, the Starmax app based on their login details for the property. Yes, um, that's absolutely possible. Yeah, I, if there are no further questions, um, I want to thank everyone for, for joining in today um, and um, see you next month.
Um, I'll just be answering some more questions here on chat um, and I'll be uh, including everyone for it. Uh, thank you very much for, for today.